Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Screw Rat Mechanic. Today is going to be a town update, and if you remember last episode, we were working on this hospital, and it's finally complete. This one only took up two parts, unlike the school, which took up three episodes, but I sat down today and really just hammered it out. Now, I'm going to have to thank somebody on this one. Con Gaming, if you recall, we looked at his creation on the last episode, the Hovership. Uh, he helped me on this a lot. He did two things that I probably would not have been able to do, but I'll go over those here in a second. We'll kind of just do a whole walkthrough of the hospital. Now, last episode, I created that ambulance over there. It is available on the Steam Workshop if you'd like to download it. But yeah, let's go ahead and walk up here. The first thing you're probably going to notice here is the wheelchair, and I actually think this came out pretty decent. You can't actually set in it. Uh, the chairs that they provide you in the game have to have a base, so you can't stick these wheels on the side. So it looks really big, but I think this looks okay. It rolls, and that's about it. Now, I guess maybe you could stick a motor on it if you wanted to drive it around, but I don't think it would look very realistic. But anyways, the first thing that you're... Well, actually, you're probably not going to notice this. I, don't, I think I had some sort of doors on here last time, but... These doors are different. This is something Con Gaming he has designed, and I actually think he's going to have a tutorial out on this, because I'm pretty sure you guys are going to ask how to do this. Now, he's got sliding glass doors here, but everything's set on a timer. If I stand over this sensor, these doors are going to open, give me enough time to walk into the building, and I'm going to trip... Well, actually, I don't think I need to trip the other sensor. I can just walk to the side, and he's got a timer set. It'll keep the doors open long enough to get in, and then they're going to close. So let me go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and walk over the sensor here. And they're going to slide open. Just clear through here. And they're going to close themselves. They're on like a little timer, so just give it a second. And any moment. I don't know how long the timer is actually set for, but yeah. They close by themselves. Really awesome looking. I knew like we were going to have to have some sort of sliding doors for the front waiting room area, so definitely happy with those. Uh, I went over this room last time. The only way to get back into the, uh, uh, I guess you can say the main part of the hospital, you have to actually be behind this desk, and you can open these doors. It's kind of like a security measure here. But yeah, we walk in here. Nothing's really changed in this area. I've added the lights. I've added a little bit of furniture in here. I was trying to think of a way to do a stretcher, and this is really what I came up with. We just don't really have small wheels, so... I had to use those little nozzles, and you can click this button here and it actually folds it down. Like, I was trying to fit it in the back of the ambulance, but there's no way to get this thing to go forward without attaching a motor to it. Now, I guess, I think there's some sort of remote control glitch. Maybe you could do it that way, but I was just testing it out, and this is kind of what I came up with. Still pretty cool looking, though. But yeah, over here you've got all the patient rooms. Uh, I went over one of them. They're all, actually they're not the same. Uh, these rooms on the left are rooms that have the two beds in them. Now, somebody said that most hospitals don't have this, like, this many windows. But just kind of the way, or at least the shape that this hospital's in. I really wasn't sure where I was going to throw the patient room. So, you've always got the option, I would say, you can have blinds. Uh, that's what these are supposed to represent. Like, there's supposed to be blinds hanging off this because there's going to be like a privacy area. But... I don't really know what to use for blinds. I, I put some concrete on there at first, and it just it looked terrible. So that's what those are supposed to represent. But yeah, I still got the uh, TVs on the wall here. These rooms over here are the same way. These are actually the uh, single bed rooms. Uh, they're both identical. Now you've got bathrooms in here. Let's open this one up. You've got one here. Yeah, everything's pretty well put together. I put these bars on the side of the walls because a lot of times uh, people, you know, of course, are having trouble walking. They have these little guide bars up and down the halls, so that's what those are for. But yeah, let's walk into here. Uh, over here to the left, somebody said that I should have a cafeteria in here, and that definitely makes sense for a hospital. So here's a little cafeteria. Got a couple tables here. You can sit down, have lunch, dinner, whatever you're doing. You can kind of look behind the table here, or behind the uh, catering area. This looks a little bit like what's in the school. Uh, in the cafeteria, so that's kind of what I used here. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. You can actually see the school over there. Man, that was a big project. Actually, just the thought of how this town's coming together, I mean, everything's just... It's 
it's amazing. I mean, how many buildings we have and still adding to it. So it's definitely gonna be a huge town. But yeah, let's go in here. I've got some more rooms here. I'm trying to think where I wanna go. Actually, I don't know why those aren't closing. Hmm, I'll have to check those. This is another security door. Uh, you cannot open this from the outside. It has to be open from the inside. I didn't want to put another checkpoint here because we got the one in the front that you can't get back into this area and then you've got these where you can only go out, you can't come in, not unless somebody lets you in. And then we've got the security room over here which I'll go back over here in a second. But yeah, over here we've got a, I guess we can call this the surgery room. I had to get rid of the windows on the back because I knew for sure that we were not going to have any windows in some sort of surgery room. I mean, that would just be kind of weird. But yeah, you've got a big, I would say this is like a monitor or we have got a couple monitors. A lot of times when you're doing surgery, they're sticking tools down in you and they have all these little monitors around. Uh, you've got a, a surgery, I guess you can call it a surgery bed or a surgical bed, whatever you want to call it. Uh, some drawers here, some controllers. Really, the controllers are just working with the uh, two-way doors here, so you can actually shut this door and close it. Got to get your privacy when you're operating on people, but yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and close that back. Over here, these are some normal... Now, I don't know if that door... Maybe that door's supposed to swing out. Actually, it's on the... Uh, these are double doors, too, so... I have to probably have to change those bearings, but yeah, these are like... I would just put these like in the normal doctor rooms non-emergency just come in here get a checkup like I know a lot of times hospitals and doctors offices are separated but I just kind of put everything in the same building because honestly I'm not gonna go build a doctor's office after this I'm just gonna stick with the hospital so this room over here is exactly the same actually this one's I don't know if the other one's got a chair but this one's got a chair in it and a duck so you got that now let's walk over here. I've got an x-ray and MRI room around the corner here. All right, this is the x-ray slash MRI room. You've got the do not enter sign because of course you're not supposed to enter this when the door is closed. A lot of times MRIs or x-rays are going to be going on. There's radiation. Uh, that's why there's this little shield here. Now I've seen the shield and I've seen the doctor being like a completely separate room when this is going on. Uh, I'm assuming safety reasons. But yeah, this is the machine here. I would like to have made something that actually moves this bed back into the, into the machine. Just when it's going on. And that would have been nice. Uh, maybe I'll still go back and do that. But you've got the little shield here. You've got a monitor. You've actually got several monitors. Now, I put the blinds up here again. Uh, of course, I, I don't have any blinds. But I put the bar up there. I didn't want to delete this window. This window, it look, it would look really funny from the outside if this was solid concrete and the rest of it was windows. So I kept that. We'll just put the blinds up whenever you want to actually use the room. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to use for those. I'm not 100% sure, but... Anyways, over here, this is just an office area for the doctors or the head doctors. You've got a couple desks here, some lockers. Uh, you've got like the uh, main... I would say this is the head honcho's office, so you've got that. Now, let's go to something that is really cool. This is, of course, the security area I talked about. Now, I've got an elevator here. And there's something about this elevator and this whole area here. Now, it looks a little odd on the wall, but I'm trying to think of which way I want to do this. Hmm. I want to do it from the outside. I think we might actually go outside and do this, but... There's the security room back there that's got all the controllers that go to quite a few of the doors. Not all of them, because everything in here has kind of got its own little setup, but... I think we're going to do this from the outside, so let's go ahead and use these doors again. Stand in front of the sensor. There we go. Alright, this is the elevator that Khan designed. Now, I talked with him and I was like, you know, you're going to have the elevator that's going to need to stay on the bottom and go up to the first floor. And that would have been a fairly simple elevator, to be honest with you. It's just, you know, a little lift under here, have a controller, and just lift it up to the second. Well, we talked some more, and we are like, you know, it would be really cool to have roof access. Because of, well, obviously you can see it there while we have roof access. There's a helipad up there. So, he came up with this genius design, and I'll kind of... I'm going to try to explain it to you. Now, I'm pretty sure he's got some sort of tutorial on how to do this, but I'm going to call the elevator down. It was actually at the top floor. And it's going to open up here. But yeah, walk into here. Now, this 
little piece is missing because I wanted to show you the mechanisms he came up with. Uh, one of these, I think he's going to have a video on this. This actually goes to the sliding door in the front that I talked about. Uh, this thing, I couldn't even really explain. It's just, he's got a system set up here. And it's like a timer. That way, once you go through and the door's open, it'll set there for a second before it actually closes. A really genius system. And here's the elevator system. Now, I don't even want to begin to try to explain to you what's going on here, but he's got this system going on where you can actually go to any floor that you want to. So say we're on this ground floor. You saw how I called it from the third floor, but say we want to go to the second floor, just click and hold this in for a second and release. Doors are going to close. And here we go to the second floor and this door here will slide open. Now normally this door is closed because this is like a uh, security checkpoint so it should be closed but yeah let's go ahead and go to the roof here. So you click the top button here, give it a second and we're gonna cruise up to the roof. Now this thing that I created up here, uh, oh and he's got some more sliding doors here, I want to thank him for those. But yeah definitely check out his channel it's absolutely awesome. He makes a lot of functional things like this. So I'm really, really thankful that he helped me with this. Or Actually, he created the elevator and the sliding door. I don't want to take any credit for that. But yeah, the reason we needed to get to the roof was because of that. This is something I created. And I warn you, I cannot create helicopters. Like, it looks nice. Like, I love the way it looks. But getting these things to fly, and it really comes down to kind of like a scrap mechanic thing, that there's no flight model in scrap mechanic. There's no aerodynamic model. Everything's based off these thrusters. So everything basically has to fly like a rocket. So you have to place these thrusters in all different directions to try to get the maneuverability that you need. And it's just silly. So this thing is mostly here for looks. It does somewhat function, like I've got these back thrusters aiming back. I've got the thrusters for the down. I've got a couple set up to try to adjust or to pitch up and down. And then I've actually got some sideways ones. You can't really see those that would try to help me kind of turn, but I just don't have enough room. Like when, let's take Moombo for example. He's fantastic at creating these fan flying creations, but his are normally a little bit bigger. And I started to design this and I really wanted the back to, let me go ahead and open it up here. Like I really wanted to be able to go back in here and like it actually looked like a stretcher or I guess a some sort of area that somebody could work on somebody. Like this is like a care flight. Uh, but then I knew that like, all right, we're going to start throwing the weight off when we start adding these extra parts. So it's a little tricky, like normally, like I should probably have actually have some more thrusters in here trying to help this thing maneuver, but I don't know. I'm not really good at making flying things. I, I think I'm pretty good at making stuff look decent because I think it actually looks good. Uh, I don't have any glass in here because, to be honest with you, the glass looks kind of silly. Like I could stick the blocks and try to tilt it up, but it looks terrible. So I opted to go with no glass, but yeah, I'm going to attempt to fly this. And I warn you, it doesn't fly very good, but it does get off the ground, so I am happy about that. Let's go ahead and close the doors. Those back doors close a little funky. Um, maybe I need to do a little bit of adjusting with the controller, but this looks kind of like... I've got a couple pictures. Maybe I'll stick one on screen what I was going for with this one, but I, I'm happy with the way it came out. I mean, it looks awesome, so let's go ahead and fire up the uh, rotors here. Now these rotors, you know, I probably should check to see if these are actually heading in the right direction. So I'm pretty sure somebody's already typing in the comments like, oh, those may or may not be going in the right direction. But anyways, let's go ahead and try to fly. So, you know, I've never seen this town from the sky, so this might actually be kind of cool looking. So let's see if we can get up in the air here. Now we seem to be having a little bit of issues. Come on. All right, let me do a little bit of adjusting. I actually made this in a different world, and I have a feeling the frame rate was different in that world, and now I'm not getting the lift that I need, so let me do some adjusting real quick. All right, I had to do a bit of adjusting there. I built this helicopter on my laptop, and I don't get the same frame rate as I do on my main computer, and that screws up the thrusters. I just took this creation, I put it in my main computer, and I mean, it just completely screwed it up. It wouldn't take off right. It was actually fl flipping over backwards. 
Now, that's about the only thing this thing can do. It, it can take off, and it can hover. It doesn't really maneuver good. I, I need to work on this a little bit, but for what it is, it lifts, it, drive, it flies forward. It's the turning where it's a little sketchy, but man, this actually looks cool. I, I've never seen this from up here. Now, I wonder, those blades might be actually going in the wrong direction. Hopefully they're not. Oh, wrong button here. You know what? I need to adjust some to the back here. Let's see if we can try to tip forward. We're probably going to crash here. Let's go ahead and let it crash because this is not good. I need to switch some up to the back. Let's do that real quick. I think I might be able to balance this out a little bit better. All right, I think I've got this balanced out just a wee bit better. Now, I don't, I mean, this town looks awesome from up here. I've always wanted to get some sort of flying contraption. Now, like I said, this doesn't work the best. I mean, it flies forward and it hovers, but that's about it. It likes to tip. It doesn't really, just doesn't work the way I wanted it to work. I'm still trying to learn about how to make these things fly correctly. Uh, especially given Scrap Mechanic's weird flight model or lack of flight model. Everything has to be based off the thrusters, which is kind of silly. Hopefully they'll do something with that because I'd really love to be able to do like true flying creations, but I just don't have enough room. Like I didn't build this with being able to stick like tons of thrusters in her to think of every scenario as far as floating around and being able to turn. And that's kind of why I haven't done the uh, the airport. You know, I, I get requested to do an airport a lot, and yeah, it just doesn't really work out half the time. Uh, me and flying creations just don't get to get uh, get along. Like, I'd have to build them at a much bigger scale to be able to fit all the thrusters that are needed to make it where it actually flies and you can control it. So this is just kind of a one-off thing. Now. I'm thinking for the next town update, or what we're going to be doing next. Uh, I'm thinking probably, and oh, I did not start this one out well at all. Let's go ahead and try to tip this forward a bit. Come on. There we go. Trying to balance it. Actually, I might float back over the town here. It's about the, the best view you're going to get of the town because I can't really turn this thing. Let me try, let's try this. No. Uh, that helps, that turns a little bit, and now we're gonna flip right back over, yeah. Scrap mechanic flying creations really just frustrate me, to no end. Ouch, I'm gonna go take this back to the hospital. Alright, I'm gonna set this back up on top of the hospital, that way if any of you guys download this world, it'll be up there for you. Uh, like I said, it doesn't fly very well, uh, <laughs> it's okay, It. I'm not very good at the whole flying thing. I just don't like the way Scrap Mechanic's flight model or lack of flight model works, so I'll uh, next time I build a plane or attempt to, I'm going to have to build it bigger, that way I can fit more thrusters in it. I'm going to still work on this one though, I'm not giving up on it. I need just some more sideways thrusters and I need to find a little bit more of a balance, uh, but that's going to take quite a while, so I'll do that. Now what I'm thinking, what we're going to do or move on to next, there's this big area here in the middle. That looks like a construction site, and I think that's what I'm going to use there. Some people have said, well, why don't you build like a dirt bike track or an off-road track, and that just doesn't make sense for the middle of the town. Like, this looks like something that should be in development, so I'm not ruling out some sort of track somewhere, maybe off in the uh, woods somewhere. Maybe we'll find a path and I can lay out one. Also, I know the airport comes up, and why I've been dodging the airport is because of that. Like I said, me and airplanes and helicopters just don't get along. Uh, Moonbo is really good at doing those, but his models are normally really big. And he's got to put a lot of thrusters in there. And that would just take a complete episode just to build a plane or a helicopter. So I don't particularly, like, I'm not saying I'm not going to build a, like an airport because I think it'll look cool in the area and maybe try to build one plane, but I'm not going to go crazy with it. So I'm thinking the construction site is definitely something I want to do. Uh, let's see, I know there's been just tons of requests. I need to finish that ranger station up there. That watchtower's been sitting there for a long time. So I need to do that. I've got some more vehicles that I want to do. I know the construction site will definitely have some vehicles, so we'll do that. Also going to look at some more viewer creations. That way I can keep the scrap mechanic content going to you guys. But yeah, 
that's going to about wrap it up for this episode. Keep suggesting below because I am still seeing some new suggestions that really look good. Uh, I want to, like I said, there's a lot of things I still want to accomplish in this town. And you guys have been enjoying the series, so I'm really happy about that. So I'm going to look forward to continuing to do that. But yeah, we're going to do this. Some viewer creations. I'm actually going to finish up Turmoil. I've got a, probably about three more episodes before I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat the game. So we're going to do that. And then I'll see what else I might bring along. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.